The hippopotamus also called the hippo, common hippopotamus, or river hippopotamus, is a large semi-aquatic mammal native to sub-Saharan Africa. It is one of only two extant species in the family Hippopotamidae, the other being the pygmy hippopotamus, Choeropsis liberiensis or Hexaprototon liberiensis. Its name comes from the ancient Greek for river horse. Aside from elephants and rhinos, the hippopotamus is the largest land mammal. It is also the largest extant land artiodactyl. Despite their physical resemblance to pigs and other terrestrial even-toed ungulates, the closest living relatives of the hippopotamids are cetaceans whales, dolphins, porpoises, etc., from which they diverged about 55 million years ago. Hippos are recognizable for their barrel-shaped torsos, wide-opening mouths with large canine tusks, nearly hairless bodies, pillar-like legs, and large size. Adults average 1,500 kg 3,310 lb for bulls males, and 1,300 kg 2,870 lb for cows females. Despite its stocky shape and short legs, it is capable of running 30 km per hour 19 miles per hour over short distances. Hippos inhabit rivers, lakes, and mangrove swamps. Territorial bulls each preside over a stretch of water and a group of 5 to 30 cows and calves. Reproduction and birth both occur in the water. During the day, hippos remain cool by staying in water or mud, emerging at dusk to graze on grasses. While hippos rest near each other in the water, grazing is a solitary activity and hippos typically do not display territorial behavior on land. Hippos are among the most dangerous animals in the world due to their highly aggressive and unpredictable nature. They are threatened by habitat loss and poaching for their meat and ivory canine teeth. The earliest evidence of human interaction with hippos comes from butchery cut marks on hippo bones found at the Bori Formation and dated to around 160,000 years ago. Later rock paintings and engravings showing hippos being hunted have been found in the Tassili Najer Mountains of the central Sahara near Janet, dated to 4,000-5,000 years ago the ancient Egyptians recognized the hippo as a ferocious denizen of the Nile and representations on the tombs of nobles show the animals were hunted by humans. The hippo was also known to the Greeks and Romans. The Greek historian Herodotus described the hippo in the histories written circa 440 BC, and the Roman naturalist Pliny the Elder wrote about the hippo in his Encyclopedia Naturalis Historia, written circa 77 AD. The Yoruba people called the hippo Aranmi, which means, elephant of the water. Some individual hippos have achieved international fame. Huberta became a celebrity during the Great Depression for trekking across a great distance in South Africa. Hippos have long been popular zoo animals. The first record of hippos taken into captivity for display is dated to 3500 BC in Hierakonpolis, Egypt. The first zoo hippo in modern history was Obasque, who arrived at the London Zoo on 25 May 1850, where he attracted up to 10,000 visitors a day and inspired a popular song, the Hippopotamus Polka. Hippos generally breed well in captivity. Birth rates are lower than in the wild but this can be attributed to zoos' desire to limit births, since hippos are relatively expensive to maintain. The Cincinnati Zoo began building a US$73 million dollars exhibit for three adult hippos in 2015, featuring a 250,000 L, 66,000 US gal tank. Modern hippo enclosures also have a complex filtration system for the animal's waste, an underwater viewing platform for the visitors, and glass that may be up to 9 cm in thick and capable of withstanding water pressures of 31 kPa In 1987, the Toledo Zoo saw the first underwater birth by a captive hippo. The exhibit was so popular, the logo of the Toledo Zoo was updated to feature the hippos. In Egyptian mythology, the god Set takes the form of a red hippopotamus and fights Horus for control of the land, but is defeated. The goddess Tawaret is depicted as a pregnant woman with a hippo head, representing fierce maternal love. The Ija people of the Niger Delta wore masks of aquatic animals like the hippo when practicing their water spirit cults, and hippo ivory was used in the divination rituals of the Yoruba. Hippo masks were also used in Nyao rituals of the Chewa of southern Africa. These rituals were performed at funerals. According to Robert Baden Powell, Zulu warriors referred to hippos in war chants. The behemoth from the Book of Job is thought to be based in the hippo. Hippos have been the subjects of various African folktales. According to a sand story, when the creator assigned each animal its place in nature, 
the hippos wanted to live in the water, but were refused out of fear they might eat all the fish. After begging and pleading, the hippos were finally allowed to live in the water on the condition they would eat grass instead of fish, and fling their dung so it can be inspected for fish bones. In a Debelli tale, the hippo originally had long, beautiful hair, but it was set on fire by a jealous hare and the hippo had to jump into a nearby pool. The hippo lost most of his hair and was too embarrassed to leave the water. Hippopotamuses were rarely depicted in European art during the Renaissance and Baroque periods, due to less access to specimens by Europeans. One notable exception is Peter Paul Rubens' The Hippopotamus and Crocodile Hunt. Ever since Obase conspired the Hippopotamus polka, hippos have been popular animals in Western culture for their rotund appearance, which many consider comical. The Disney film Fantasia featured a ballerina hippo dancing to the opera La Gioconda. The film Hugo the Hippo involves the title character escaping Zanzibar to Dar es Salaam to avoid being slaughtered, where he is cared for by local children. The Madagascar films feature a hippo named Gloria. Hippos even inspired a popular board game, Hungry Hungry Hippos. Among the most famous poems about the hippo is, The Hippopotamus, by T. S. Eliot, where he compares the animal to the Catholic Church. Hippos were mentioned in the novelty Christmas song, I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas, that became a hit for child star Gayla Peavy in 1953. They also feature in the popular, The Hippopotamus Song, by Flanders and Swan. A popular internet myth reports that hippos have pink milk. Biologist David Winnick states, I think this is an internet legend that is oft-repeated but without any evidence for it that I can find. Like all mammals, hippos produce white or off-white milk for their young. Hippopotamus amphibious was widespread in North Africa and Europe during the Aenean, 130-115,000 years ago, with remains found as far north as England. Archaeological evidence exists of its presence in the Levant, dating to less than 3,000 years ago. The species was common in Egypt's Nile region during antiquity, but it has since been driven out. According to Pliny the Elder, in his time, the best location in Egypt for capturing this animal was in the Sate Nome. The animal could still be found along the Damietta branch of the Nile after the Arab conquest in 639. Reports of the slaughter of the last hippo in Natal province were made at the end of the 19th century. Hippos are still found in the rivers and lakes of the Northern Democratic Republic of the Congo, Uganda, Tanzania, and Kenya, north through to Ethiopia, Somalia, and Sudan, west to the Gambia, and south to South Africa.